Hello there and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be trying out some fantastic glittery makeup that I got from AliExpress. Today we're going to be trying out the beautiful silvery glittery mascara. We also have the absolutely mesmerizing enchanting liquid glitter eyeshadow from You Can Be and to finish off we're going to be trying the cheese blush. I never thought I would be trying a cheese blush. I love to eat cheese but I've not yet had any cheese inspired makeup products but this blush looks absolutely dreamy. It's a beautiful kind of pastel light pink with undertones of lilac. I have a feeling that this blush is actually going to be quite illuminating and I just cannot wait to try it. Also just to let you know I have set up the groundwork with my eyes. I've applied some dark and smoky shadows from the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale palette. By the way I love this palette. If you're a cool toned makeup kind of fan this is a really really good quality uh, palette to go for. Okay so to begin the video today I'm actually going to be trying the cheese blush. I don't often begin on the cheeks and I just feel like well let's change that today. This is what the cheese blush looks like. It's in this triangular cardboard kind of box packaging. We have Tom and Jerry on the front which I think is very appropriate considering this is a cheese. And believe me I just want to say before I pop her open I had very low expectations even though I'd seen photos on the advertisement I still had low expectations because in my mind I was thinking this was a little bit of like a gimmicky kind of product but I was absolutely delighted when I actually saw what was inside. Oh guys this is her. She's just so gorgeous. I'm going to cut to a swatch now so that you can see her in action. I think that you'll agree with me. She looks absolutely angelic. I feel like you could use this as a highlighter or as a blush but Today we're going to go in with the blush. On first glance, she definitely reminded me of Just a Wisp by MAC, which, oh, sorry plant, I didn't mean to elbow you there, how rude of me. On first glance, she actually really reminded me of Just a Wisp Mineralized Blush by MAC, but I don't think she's going to be quite on par with that, but you never know. It does have a feel of like it being mineralized because it's such a barely feelable, formula I don't know what I'm saying at this point it feels very soft and like non-powdery so I feel like it's a mineralized I don't know if it is I'm just talking out of my ass right now okay so I've applied a minimal amount of the blush and I think you will definitely agree with me hopefully you could definitely see this just very subtle pop of pink and as I turn my head you can definitely see a radiance coming from it which I really really like for me I I mean I do like my blushes but I much prefer radiant blushes because I just think they give your face a bit of a life it's like yes okay so I'm just gonna apply a little bit more okay you can definitely see more of the pink oh my gosh this is so beautiful it doesn't feel like a heavy powder or and it doesn't look like a heavy powder as you can see I've just kind of applied it there it's actually smoothed out my skin if if that makes sense like if you look at this cheek you can kind of see the texture but if you look at this side I just feel like it's added this kind of skin blurring appearance and I'm really really loving it I'm also loving the fact that it's actually a very subtle kind of pop of pink it's nothing too much and I feel like you could definitely build this up so I'm going to go in for the third time just to see if we could just build her up a little bit and we can so she is buildable you could definitely just keep applying and you know have more of a pop of pink or you know you can just go in subtle I think she is absolutely beautiful they did have another shade which is I think it was more of like a peachy shade I can't quite remember but I'll pop a picture up here I may be tempted at some point to go ahead and purchase that. That would be like such a me kind of thing to do because do you know what? I am so impressed with this. I just think it looks absolutely beautiful on the skin. Oh my gosh, guys. Yeah, I really am impressed. Oh. I'm also going to go ahead. I'm going to pop a little bit onto the nose. I love the glow from within kind of look it's given me but the thing that I'm probably most surprised about and actually most in love with is the way that it's actually you know just kind of smoothed out my skin it just made my skin look kind of airbrushed and oh my gosh I love that look at that 
it's kind of like glass skin but with a hint of pink guys i'm super impressed with this and i would definitely definitely recommend it if you are a fan of glowy blushes i'm definitely interested in buying more who would have thought it the cheese blush a hit i definitely thought that this was just gonna be like gimmicky but no okay so just to give you a closer look oh guys Oh, she's so gorgeous. And actually, she's very similar to Just a Wisp by MAC in that she is a very kind of cool tone light pink with just like this soft, silvery kind of moonlit glow. I can definitely see myself reaching for her just on the daily because she really has made my skin look great. I really recommend it. Okay, so next we're going to move to the You Can Be Liquid Eyeshadow. So this is what she looks like. I have the shade Light Salmon. I'm not sure if maybe there was a little bit of an error with the sp spelling of this word. Because Light Salmon, I just can't really understand like why Light Salmon. Like why? For me, I would have called this Graphite Galaxy or Steel Glow steel shimmer steel shimmer your tits so whenever i try liquid eyeshadows i am eternally comparing them to the steeler glitter and glows just because i feel like steeler really nailed the formula of you know having an extremely beautiful sparkly eyeshadow that dries down really fast and it lasts all day i just think steeler kind of nailed that formula in my opinion do it the best out of anyone but those products are super expensive i think they're like 24 pounds each so i am always on a never-ending mission to find a really really good affordable juice for the glitter and glow so i'm really hoping that this you can be product is going to be comparable or you never know better than the Steeler products. As I mentioned earlier, I have set up this scene, the mise en scene, on my face. So this has a double-sided fluffy kind of, it's not really doe foot, it's more like a rectangular but with curved edges foot kind of wand. I am just going to be applying this all over my lid. So I'm going to use a very light hand. I want to be careful that I don't apply too much of the product because that definitely leads to a, a much longer setting time and it just makes your eye all sticky and I do not enjoy a sticky eye. Okay, so that's gone on absolutely beautifully. <laughs> Why did I say beautifully? It was like, you know, my batteries were dying or something. So someone just had to like plug me in. I was like, beautifully, uh oh, uh oh. She dying, the batteries are dying quick. Someone, give her some energy, give her some energy. That's kind of what it was like, but anyway, I think this looks, oh, should I? Absolutely beautiful. So the glitters, they definitely kind of predominantly appear to be silver, but when I was swatching this earlier, I could definitely see kind of other colours in there, but yeah, the predominant kind of bam, bam, bam situation is definitely silvery, I would say. Okay, so I've applied this all over both lids and I just think it looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, you can definitely see, if I close my eyes, you can definitely see the silver glitters twinkling away, but I like it when I'm kind of a bit further back and you can kind of just see this wet look sheen and it kind of looks like I've got that kind of oil slick eye going on and I'm really loving that. It's, it does feel quite sticky but I mean that's to be expected because it's not fully dry yet. So I'm just going to give this a couple of minutes to dry whilst I apply my mascara and I know you may be thinking well Aminata I thought that you were going to apply the glitter mascara. Yes I am and well remembered by the way it's good to know you're paying attention. I am definitely going to be applying the glitter mascara just try and stop me but I just feel like it's going to look best if I apply it on top of a black mascara because if I just apply the glitter onto my bare lashes I don't think you're going to get that same experience you know as you would get if it was applied on top of the black mascara so at least that's what i'm hoping so anyway i'm gonna apply my mascara and then i'll see you back here for the glitter more glitter 
we want more. More, more, more. So I'm just applying my mascara and I noticed a slight issue with the You Can Be eyeshadow. So I noticed that it had kind of smudged off and that must have been because like I had my eyes open and blinking and I don't know, I was just doing the usual kind of things I do with my eyes but this product did not like that obviously so I I've kind of given it the benefit of the doubt I've applied a very very small extra layer just to you know kind of go over those areas that are kind of smudged over and unfortunately like you can still see it. and I think this is because you know I am a 36 I just uh, do you know what I was at the doctor's the other week and the doctor asked me how, how old I was and I was like um did you hear the ambulance go past that's probably coming for me right now because I don't know how old I am the doctor asked me how old I was and I was like like, I don't know because I actually don't like to know I don't I don't think there's anything wrong with age or aging but it's just I just don't want to age I, like I do not want to do it so anyway yeah I do have quite you know saggy eyelids it's so, so sad it's sad to even admit that honestly I feel like I'm at Alcoholics Anonymous like standing up my name is Anne Ron Williams so apparently I even forget what my name is because uh, since I got married back in September last year my surname has been Alecandro so yeah apparently I can't even remember my own name so that's a bit awkward but that's just me i have saggy eyelids it's nothing to be ashamed of you know aging is something to be proud of but i still don't want it for me i just don't want it for me so yeah you can see even though i've applied a thin layer over where it kind of you know kind of come off you can still i don't know if you can but can you see there just on the crease you just see like a bare patch, um, which it must have been where it was kind of mid-drying and then I dared to open my eyes and it's just kind of taken a patch off, which is a real shame. I don't know, maybe if you've got younger lids that aren't so saggy, maybe that would not be an issue for you. And I must say with the Steeler Glitter and Glows, I don't have that issue at all. They don't patch off and I don't know if that's because they just dry super fast so there's not time for it to kind of patch off. I, I mean, who knows, guys, but unfortunately, this has patched off, which is only really a problem if you think about it. If I was looking at you like this, which generally, you know, I try and refrain from looking at people like this. I always try and, like, just look face on, you know, and actually from this direction, from face on, I think it looks really, really good. Can you see? You can't see any issues face on, so maybe I'll just refrain from, like, going like this for the rest of the day, which isn't too much of a, a big ask I don't think so anyway I'm just going to do my lower lashes but I've finished applying my mascara and I'm ready to go in with the glittery mascara today so this is what the one looks like it's quite a basic traditional wand and I'm just going to go over my lashes with this I think that this is like perfect not only for Christmas but for team meetings, you know, if you're just having any kind of team meeting. I mean, it's a bit tricky actually to make out. Is the glitter, is it coming from my lid or is it actually coming from my lash? This would probably work super, super well if you had a very neutral kind of eye look going on. Or even if you had like a smoky, matte, kind of dark eye look going on. Well, I found that if I use, you know, the end of the wand to apply, it actually gives me better results because it, it dispenses like a big blob of the glittery mascara to my lashes. Can you see? Oh, you can see there. Can you see there? Okay, so I think it looks like super, super cute. Um, I'm going to put some on my lower lashes because I think it's really going to have a great impact down there. It's just going to create a glittery experience for us all. Although I'm saying that and I'm not managing to get any glitter on my lower lashes. Okay, can you actually see anything on there? Like I can, but it's super subtle. You know what I'm really tempted to do is, like I've got loads of, um, you know, like glitter pigment and loose glitter. I'm actually really tempted to pop a little bit on the wand 
for just maximum glitter. Should we give it a go? So I've got some beautiful glitter here, which is from Sparkle Fantasy Cosmetics. It's kind of like a, it's like a multicoloured, but mostly purple kind of glitter. This is what she looks like. I'm going to take my wand. I may end up regretting this, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to take my wand. I'm going to dip just the tip in the glitter. We're going to apply onto my lower lashes. Oh yeah, like I can see that. Can you see that? Oh, that's so nice. Okay, so that is great. I think what we're actually realising here is that the glittery mascara is a great idea, but I think it's very subtle, like it's always going to be quite subtle. So I think if you've got some loose glitter that you can actually use, like make sure it's eye safe by the way guys, I have to be responsible. You can use your wand just as like a tool to dip into your glitter and then create the most beautiful party lashes. Can you see? <gasps> that looks so good, like now we are talking. So I'm going to pop some up at the top. Oh yes. Oh, yes. Also as well, I just had a thought with the Yucopy eyeshadow, I think if I'd immediately gone over it with like a similar kind of glittery matte powder, that would have definitely set it. So then I wouldn't have had that transferring problem. So I think, you know, next time I use it, I will set it and see how that goes. Okay, so I actually really, really like the look of this glittery glitter on my lashes. I definitely do not think that the glittery mascara alone is enough. I think that you would just be applying and applying and applying and applying and applying just to get a minimal amount of payoff, you know? If you just dip it in some glitter, look at this, like look, I mean I don't think I need to anymore. It's like my lashes have been festooned with Christmas lights. They just look so beautiful. So I am loving that. But I'm not really loving the mascara just by itself. It's a vehicle to get you to fantastic glittery lashes, but on its own, it's not going to create super glittery lashes. It's just a vehicle. It will help get you there. You know what I mean? Okay, so that brings us to the end of this video. I really, really love the blush. I would definitely say that out of all the products, the blush for me is the standout. I would definitely say she's subtle, but you can build her up. But the thing I love most about her is this subtle lip from within glow and the fact that she's just made my skin look so smooth and kind of airbrushed, beautiful. So final thoughts on the You Can Be products are that I really, really like it. I love the colour of it. It's perfect if you want a really kind of grungy, dark, smoky, but also glittery look. I think it's perfection. And do you know what? I'm going to actually blame myself and the fact that I'm getting older with the as for the reason why it kind of smudged a bit. I think that if I had to kind of been proactive and set it with a powder, we wouldn't have had that transferring problem. And actually, now that I've applied a second layer to cover up the gaps, it has actually helped. And I think a big part of it as well is after you apply it, just like, just keep your eyes like this. So, you know, you're not moving your lids all around. I think that definitely helps it set. So I have to say that I really do like the You Can Be product and I would definitely recommend. I definitely would. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the video. I am super impressed with all three of the products that we tried today. As I'm talking, I can just see like lots of like glitter. You know, like if you have ever had glitter, it's just sneak its way onto your eyelash and you can just see it like there, like a bit of a floater. It's kind of like everything in my eyesight is framed with glitter at the moment, which I can't say I'm hating, like I, this is like a dream for me honestly. So yeah, I really am loving what we've got going on on the lashes, like look at that guys. If I just show you a bit of the pizzazz, look at that. Oh yes guys, I, I like this. I like it for Christmas, I like it for Halloween. I like it for every day. Every day. What was that song that Jake Paul did? It's every day, bro. We were at football this morning because Andres had a football match. And um, I went in first with Andres and Anton stayed in the car. And one of the other um, kids' dads were just like chatting with me. And I was thinking, oh, I'm making a football friend. Like this is me in action. 
making football friends. And I was just thinking, oh, this is great. Like, a bit out of my comfort zone, but I was feeling good about myself. I was like, yes. Like, honey's he le le leaves me alone at football, and I make football friends. This is me. I'm flourishing. I'm in my element here, apparently. So, yeah, I just wanted to mention that. I was like, football friend? I'm, I'm like a football mom, like, because I'm making football friends. Out on my own, making football buddies. So, anyway, guys, I am going to go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video, and I can't wait to see you in the next one.